vlog right now just covering for Tia for a little while. I haven't vlogged today because I was kind of in a funk. I woke up this morning feeling fine and then I lost my car key which in turn made me late and I don't know you guys it's like I think because my life is a little out of whack <laughs> at the moment a lot of things end up being out of whack for me but yeah so I'm a little better now I still feel kind of heavy and I think it's because my cycle is about to come on so yeah I just been a little blah I haven't been in the mood to vlog or edit or film videos or anything like that it happens from time to time but I'm gonna really try to like look on the bright side of things okay I went ahead and took my case off because I wasn't liking the quality but I think it's also like a combination of the quality and the lighting where I am. I had a really, really good time yesterday at Stanley's live event um, with the band, so that was cool. Whew. I hope that Charles day is going well. What did I do to like get in a better mood? I don't think I even journaled. I didn't journal at all yesterday because I was so busy working and then I ended up going to the event, so I was like, let me journal a little bit today. So I'm gonna tell you guys the message that I got just from looking at some stuff on youtube know that no one can ever be as mean to you as you are to yourself i am good enough i deserve more why on god's green earth if i nurture me would i ever allow another human being outside of myself the power the authority or the dominion to treat me in a way i would never treat myself so if you ever feel like people are treating you away just know that nobody can do to you any more than what you allow them to do to you you can definitely have more you just have to let other people know what your worth is and once you set those boundaries and those standards for yourself then in turn um, that is what the things that would be the things that you will get back so I hope that resonated with some people that's something that I'm working on <laughs> myself like um, in my process of like going within and self-evaluation and stuff like that just knowing my worth and setting that standard and I watched a really good video by Brandy Lee and she basically talked about the energy of 2019 as for ladies not to be desperate and I was like yo that is so profound like do not be desperate in 2019 she gave the example of when you go to a restaurant and they mess up your order how you have to basically say what you deserve like don't just say like oh no it's fine da, 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 out of fear that if you send it back something's going to happen to it you you shouldn't even have your mind on that level that if you send something back something's going to have happen to it you should just acknowledge that if you go to a place of business this is their service and their duty to you and if it's not correct then you have all will and power to directly articulate that so that they do know and so that they can come at you from a better place and i was like that is such a beautiful like visual analysis like yes that is true you have to speak up and be direct about the things that are quality to you what is quality to you if you order hot fries with no salt and when you get your fries they're cold and they have salt on it what do you do you say i'm just gonna keep these fries because i don't want anything to happen out of fear or do you directly state to the establishment hey i ordered hot fries with no salt period so when you set those standards and those boundaries that's when that business can therefore say okay let me go back and make another you know as opposed to you just leaving you losing your time you losing your money and you losing out on what you deserve so at what cost are you willing to give up what you deserve at what cost are you willing to give up what you asked for I just wanted to get that off of my chest because it was really like on my heart and I know that this upcoming week that's gonna have to be something that I'm going to have to practice and address for my own life um, just knowing what I'm worth and setting that standard as to how I believe in my heart as to how I should be treated and a lot of us 
ladies, like, we don't even believe in our hearts that we deserve more because we think that what we are, um, like, hi. <laughs> As ladies, we don't even say, like, what we deserve because we feel like what is given to us is just enough. Like, we don't even feel like we could have more. We feel like where we are today is the end all be all. Like, there's no more to this. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the best I've been treated. This person is whining and downing me. They're hitting me up. All these service level things. Is it really that lit? Do you not believe that you deserve better? Or do you not believe that that is the bare minimum that somebody could do for you? Is Do you not believe that that is the bare minimum that you could do for yourself? Like, what more, okay? There is no ending point ever. Everything is a constant process of growth and journeying and developing and learning. And all of this stuff is constant. Nothing is set in stone. Nothing is stable. Nothing is it. You know what I'm saying? It just keeps getting better if you create that space and allow that to be better for your life. Alright, y'all. Look at my mama. And tell me what y'all see. Okay? Take notes. Now look at me and tell me what y'all see. I took my shoes off, but y'all can probably guess where I was going with this. I can't do nothing. I had on black tennis shoes with white soles. <laughs> she get on my nerves. And she saw me today, too. So she can't even act like... You, Ma, you can't even act like you not trying to be my mini-me. <laughs> I said, you can't act like you're not trying to be my mini-me. I be tripping. No. No, you my mini-me. <laughs> you